Hey friends, it's Miss Morgan. I want to share with you one of my favorite books. It's one of my favorites because it's really silly. So it's called Goaty Locks and the Tale of the Three Bears. It says, once upon a time, there was a kid named Goldilocks. Did you know that a baby goat is called a kid? She lived down the road from a family of bears. When the bears went out for a walk one morning, well, you can probably guess what Goldilocks did. Inside the bear's house, Goldilocks found three bowls of porridge. She tasted the big bowl, but it was too hot. Then she tasted the medium bowl, but it was too cold. Then she tasted the little bowl. Mmm, mmm, it was just right. So, she ate it. And the spoon, too. Burp. Next. Goldilocks found three chairs. She tried the big chair, but it was too hard. Then she tried the medium chair, but it was too soft. Then she tried the little chair. Oh, it is just right. So, what do you think? She ate it. Cushions and all. Oh dear, do you see? She's eating the, the chair and the cushions. At this point, Goldilocks began to feel sleepy. Upstairs, she found three beds. She tested the big bed, but it was too lumpy. She tested the medium bed, but it was too squishy. Then she tested the little bed. Ah, oh, it was just right. So, she ate it plus the blankets, two pillows, and a pair of pajamas. What a silly goat. Then, with a contented sigh, Goldilocks fell fast asleep. Shortly thereafter, the bears came home. You can probably imagine the commotion. Someone has been eating my porridge, said Papa Bear. Someone has been eating my porridge, says Mama Bear. Hey, where is my porridge? Asked Baby Bear. Get a load of this, called Papa. Someone has been sitting in my chair. Gracious, Mama Bear said. Someone has been sitting in my chair. Hey, where is my chair? Asked Baby Bear. They found the culprit upstairs. My bed, wailed Baby Bear, it's gone. Goldilocks opened her eyes. Above her stood three bears. What would you do? Ah! Quickly, she jumped up and hoofed it for home, which probably sounds like the end of the story. But... The next day, Goldilocks woke up feeling a little, well, sheepish. She wanted to make things right with her neighbors, but how? Outside, she found her answer. What do you think she's gonna get from outside for the bears? How could the bears resist? Her gift was so pretty, so thoughtful. It was just right. So? She took them flowers. They ate it. Look, they all ate it. They ate the flowers. Burp, said they bear. The end. I hope you guys liked one of my favorite books. Love y'all.